Here at the Canadian Warplane Heritage Museum in Hamilton, Ontario, is a hangar full of very interesting airplanes. Today, we're going to explore the Avro Lancaster bomber, one of the biggest bombers from World War II, and talk about what makes it a history hero. The Avro Lancaster bombers were one of the best Allied bombers during World War II, but actually came from a previous failure of Avro. The Manchester bomber was unsuccessful and unreliable. They swapped out the twin Vulture engines for quad Merlin engines, and thus the Lancaster was born. The Lancaster is an iconic aircraft. 7,377 were built. Canada was the only country outside the UK to build Lancasters. Some of which were made right here in Malton, Ontario at Victory Aircraft. In 1942, it was the largest airplane that had been built in Canada. And Victory Aircraft, the site of Pearson Airport today, employed 10,000 young Canadians who built these airplanes. Here is the Lancaster's bomb bay, capable of holding up to 22,000 pound bombs known as Grand Slam bombs, where they would be loaded in and dropped out of right here. It was the biggest airplane flown by Bomber Command at nighttime, and it actually carried the fight to the Third Reich. One of the more famous operations the Lancasters partook in was the Dam Busters Raid. Their goal was to destroy German dams. The problem was, the Germans had put up anti-torpedo nets in front of the dams to prevent the dams from being destroyed by simple torpedoes. And so this is what they came up with, the skipping bomb. The bombs would be attached at the sides right here and dropped at a very low altitude with a backspin in hopes that they would skip over the anti-torpedo nets, land in front of the dams and explode. The other thing that impresses me about this airplane is the, the Merlin engine, 1,640 horsepower per engine. So the first time when you're flying this airplane and you put the power up on those four Merlins and they come to life, the sound just overwhelms you. You've never heard anything like it. To make sure I was paying attention, John Grande is going to ask me some questions and I encourage you guys to play along as well. What is the plane's wingspan? 102 feet long. How many crew members does it hold? A total of seven people. When was the first one flown? In January of 1941. You can visit the bombery for yourself at the Canadian Heritage Warplane Museum in Hamilton. And if you're lucky enough, get to see it fly overhead. My name is Sam, and if you learned something new today, my job here is done.